Welcome, Lumineers. I'm your host, Rush, and today we're going to be taking a look back at Amber Steel Bodyguards. I made some updates from the pre release of all of the cards, and we've updated some things to the deck list you can see on screen. We've subbed in some Namaris at four to be able to attack non readied or non exerted opponents, as well as adding in some things like the Li Shang as well as the Rapunzel's so we can get some consistent card draw off things like Dinglehopper and the Hakuna, Hakuna Matatas. We'll get right into it. If you have any questions or comments or anything you'd change in the deck, leave them in the comments below. And we are closing in on a thousand subscribers. So do remember to like and subscribe. We are going to be doing a giveaway once we cross that 1000 subscriber mark. Let's get into the video. Okay, we got some Donalds, some Amaris. We're gonna keep that. That's a ways off. Play the Captain Hook. One against a yellow knight. Giving a nice greetings. One against Sapphire with the caterpillar. We'll get some on board. Plus, and we'll pass. Next turn, we'll. Play Hercules by inking Hercules. Sapphire Emerald. There's a really nice, interesting combination between Sapphire and Emerald that I like to try. Where the Sapphire side does support and the Emerald side quests for more based on higher strength. Interesting to see that. Plays a Flynn, so this must be some kind of tempo. I would assume tempo. it's tempo I might because it's tempo I'm gonna play out the prince turn. Quest Caterpillar will be able to take it out. We're going to get another Hercules on board. Just trying to keep up tempo. Okay, so Captain's going to take out Caterpillar. What is he going to do with his ink? Worst case here, we'll end up healing Captain with Rapunzel. I generally don't like to use Rapunzel unless you get two cards off of it. Especially with Daisy Duck coming in next turn. Play 
Okay, our Rapunzel will take out Caterpillar. Question is, is he going to end up questing next turn? If so, we should send Simba into Flynn. Actually, I think we just should do that. Because we'll have a much higher tempo on board than he will. Also, does not incentivize him to quest with Daisy. for him to win in his color scheme. And there's the concede. Bodyguards will push through. All right. shield. Oh. Are we playing a seven dwarves deck? So I have no two drop. I think I will play hook here. stack. Okay. We we're just going to stalemate each other. Sheer con this really could add up to a lot of value though. Just setting up the board. Thanks for Rapunzel. We are just going to start tossing taverns on the board.
right, so we'll go ahead and do that because we want to get Namari out. in the Shere Khan. entire play just going to be not be unreadied. in the dock. We're going to clear damage here. We get five if we ink. So let's ink the Dingle Hopper. We'll put out Namari again. Not in bodyguard. We'll put out a hook as well. I'm drawing, there are a few options that I would really like to see. Gets back Maui. Okay, four. How did he do that? Oh, he must have not sung as much as he thought he did. Eight. 
Okay, so first off, definitely think Tinkerbell's coming down. We'll take care of that problem. Then four damage here and four damage here. Sorry for the slow gameplay, guys. That was a little nail biting. I didn't know where that was going. The rows look pretty fun. Well, GG to our opponent. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Illumineers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay up to date on everything Lorcana. I'll see you on the next one.